Here's a fun fact about coffee. It is the third most popular beverage in the world after water and tea. Welcome to the second episode of the Tata Safari Reclaim Your Life Drive. And today, we're heading to the coffee estates of Kool to find that perfect cup of coffee, to drive our cars a little bit and to indulge in a little bit of adventure. And as usual, we've got Tata Safari owners along for the drive. We started the drive in Bengaluru at the Lemon Tree Premier Alsur Lake. We met up with fellow safari owners, stickered their cars and gave them a quick briefing about the drive. And then we flagged off from there and it was a 266 km drive to Siddhapur in Kulg. The Evo India team was in the lead Tata Safari adventure persona and we had the rest of the convoy in tow. Being the Reclaim Your Life drive, we were doing things differently. Instead of taking the straightforward road between Bengaluru and Kurg, we took a slightly longer but much more beautiful route through the Nagarhole forest. This is what I love about the safari. It makes you do things that you would not normally do. We could have taken the straightforward route to Kurg. It would have been easier, it would have been faster, it would have been better tarmac, but that's not what the safari wants. The safari wants you to drive it and that's what we're doing. We're taking a longer route. It's far more pretty, it's far more beautiful and it's a far more enjoyable drive. The thing about the safari is it's a car that puts a smile on your face and the more time you spend in it, the more time you spend smiling. So you really, really enjoy driving this car and that's why taking a longer route was the only logical option on this drive today. The Safari is a great car to road trip in and what makes it so good, I've already covered in depth in the last Reclaim Your Life video. So we did a drive to Geer and in that I spoke about the engine, the transmission and I don't want to repeat myself till I'm hoarse here. So if you want to go watch that video, a link should appear on your screen. But the Safari is really a brilliant car to drive and the more time I spend in it, the more time I realize why. On our last drive though, we had a lot of straight roads. We were in Gujarat, the roads were good, they were straight, but here it's a completely different playing field. Here, you've got a bunch of twisties and you've got roads which aren't as well surfaced, especially through the Nagarole National Park. I don't think that's a road that they can resurface too often because it's a national park, because it will cause a disturbance to the animals. But the safari just takes everything you throw at it in its stride. The ride quality is phenomenal. It deals with bad roads really, really well. And on winding roads like these through the coffee estates, you can actually have a bit of fun. The chassis setup on the safari is nicely dialed in. You can chuck it around bends. There is a decent amount of feel from the steering wheel. The steering wheel is actually very quick. So the front end darts in very sharply when you turn it in. But otherwise it settles into a nice rhythm don't push it too hard, but you can just enjoy the drive, get into a rhythm with the road, drive it at 7 tenths, 8 tenths and enjoy yourself. And once you're in that rhythm with views like these, with vistas like these, with these corridors of trees, it's unbelievably hypnotic. You can just get into a zone and enjoy yourself. We were staying at the Riverside Estate, a 55-acre estate that had four rooms and a coffee shop nestled in its wilderness. Rishwin runs the property here and would be our host for our stay. So what we're doing now is a tour of the coffee plantation. Rishwin, the owner of Riverside Estates, is going to take us up into those hills. That's where all the coffee is grown. And in the meantime, we're also going to be doing a little bit of off-roading. Time to put these safaris to a proper test. We slotted the safaris into rough road mode and drove through the estate while Rishwin explained to us the art of growing coffee. He told us about the dominant varieties, Arabica and Robusta, about how they need shade under the trees and flowing water to thrive. 
He told us about the different varieties and some of the finer details of cultivation that you simply will not find anywhere even on the internet. He showed us how the coffee beans are dried and stored and then he took us back to his coffee shop where he roasted the coffee, crushed it and brewed a fresh cup of espresso. And after all of that, this is what you end up with. The perfect cup of coffee. I think after such a long day, I deserve one. Mm. So good. <laughs> It's day two of the Reclaim Your Life drive with the Tata Safari and today we're doing exactly what we love doing and exactly what we've come here for. We're driving for the sake of driving. We've got no destination in mind. We're not heading anywhere in particular. We're just out exploring this Kurg district and just learning about the place, driving through the place, looking at it through our own eyes. The sun is rising through the hills, it's a misty morning, it's what, 6.25 in the morning. And yeah, we're just out, out to have a good time in our cars. We chanced upon a road that led up a hill called Kote Beta. With everyone feeling adventurous enough to explore it, we headed down that trail. There was a bit of off-roading involved, but it was mostly just a steep climb up to the top of the hill. The trail was narrow, but the safari made quick work of it and got us all the way to the top. This is where our morning drive has ended. This is Kotebetta, which is one of the many peaks around Kurg. Behind me is a temple and behind that is this massive rock face. There are brilliant views all around and it's a lovely place to spend our morning and eat breakfast. Legend has it that the Pandavas actually spent their days in exile here. It must be a very special place, but I think everybody here really enjoyed the drive up through the plantations. We did a little bit of off-roading in the middle. Then there was a steep climb getting up here. It's been a lovely morning, but we're not done yet. From there, we headed to Quarry Adventure, an adventure park where the safari owners and their families could reclaim their lives even more by getting the adrenaline flowing. It was a fun day out with zip lining, rock climbing and a lot of other adventurous activities. We also caught up with the owners of the Tata Safari who had joined us on this drive to hear what they had to say about their experience here and the car. And this car is something uh, that is very, very, uh, you know, good on highway drive and any little off-roading that you need to do. Uh, I find it very comfortable. Uh, since then, I have done roughly 12,000 kilometers of drive in just four months. We have grown up uh, watching this uh, vehicle on the roads and you know, always dreamt of having this vehicle. Uh, it's a legend in its own and uh, we just wanted to own it someday. Uh, that is why we bought this safari and uh, of course uh, we know the capabilities of this car. Uh, this entire drive uh, to Kurg is really a pleasant experience for all of my family members, I can say. One thing that stood out is the Kote Beta, uh, basically hilltop. And uh, I'm sure without the guidance of the team and with this vehicle, I couldn't have met, met there. And everybody was happy, though it was little, 
you know, uh, too much for the family, but at least uh, I enjoyed thoroughly uh, drive. And later on, they were also saying that, yeah, this was the worth it. So the experience so far has been very, very nice. I would say it's great. A uh, lot of expedition, you know, a lot of adventure. Uh, of course, you know, we definitely would have not gone alone. Uh, so thanks to the team, EO India team, they organized this very well. It was a wonderful view from there and uh, it was all worth uh, taking so much of uh, effort going there. It's been a fantastic journey for us. This is our first ever adventure since we've bought the car. We actually found out what the caliber is after we have visited all these places out there. And this uh, location has been fantastic. The rooms, everything apart is on par with the, uh, the best here. We came to know the capability of this car and, and I think that is why we should keep on doing different drives so that the people can drive, understand what this car's, uh, car is all about. Uh, it, it goes very well with the caption, uh, Reclaim Your Life. We have reclaimed our, our lives. Uh, we have come on this adventure. Uh, it's, it's a life-changing experience for us. Uh, and we would like to be part of many more experiences like this. We've had a brilliant three days in Kurg. We've had so much fun driving our cars through the coffee estates in Kurg, taking them all the way up to the top of Kotaveta. We've pushed our limits and the limits of our SUVs more than we ever have before. This is the true definition of Reclaim Your Life! <laughs>